Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and as you can see by the title and thumbnail I'm going to be showing you guys and telling you guys how to set up a simple and cheap leopard gecko enclosure So, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome And hello there, my name is Joshua and I make content about reptiles and arachnids I make cool educational videos, feeding videos, setups and all other kinds of cool and fun videos for you guys to watch and if you guys enjoy my content, I really love to support from you guys. I hope you guys enjoy my channel and continue to watch my videos and make sure to share my videos and my channel and make sure to subscribe. So for today's setup, we're going to be using just some simple and cheap things. So here we have a reptile hide, which is good for reptiles to hide in and to either sleeping or just for them to feel safe inside then for this video i'm also just using a small or a decent sized plastic like box or a container just as it's easy and cheap for anyone who's looking for simple ways to set up a leopard gecko enclosures if they have multiple geckos then i also have just a spare exoterra plant that i can also use for my enclosure i can also make the setup look maybe nicer and for this setup today, the substrate I'm going to be using is just simple tissue or a kitchen paper towel. This is just a simple and easy way how to use the substrate for your enclosure and you can also use it in this town. And the reason why you guys can also use paper towel is because it's pretty simple overall if you see a gecko. Maybe if it put it inside the enclosure, you guys can just simply take the towel up like this out of the enclosure and pop it out and then just put some new paper towel in so overall this is a pretty simple substrate you guys can also use for creating simple and small enclosures for your guys's enclosures so here we have another second hide um, and the thing about leopard geckos is that there are many ground dwelling reptiles they come from the desert and most of the time they will just sleep through the day and then come out at night so they're most likely and Overall, they're just pretty much nocturnal, which means they come out at night to hunt and to get their food. So make sure in your guys' enclosures, you guys should have multiple hides. Mainly, you guys should try and have three hides. So one warm hide, one like moist hide, and one like cold hide. So if your gecko feels too warm, it can go to the cold hide, or if it has a shed skin, it'll go to the moist hide. So overall, just try to make your leopard gecko have a few different hides so it can go to each different one and if you guys want here i just have another spare reptile bowl you guys can actually just use any kind of small kind of plate or a shallow dish for using water for your gecko to drink most of the time my geckos wouldn't really drink from their bowl so i just syringe feed my geckos the water so here is the finished setup as you can see it's overall pretty simple and my female Leopard gecko, which I'm going to be showing you guys right now. She's going to be going into the setup. This is just for making this video on how to create a simple and cheap enclosure. You guys can realistically use any kind of plastic tub. This one is a decent sized one. Then I have a warm hide here, which I'm going to be putting the heat mat underneath the enclosure so the heat can rise up in the enclosure. And then this will be a warm hide. This will be like a moist hide. Later on, I'll put like moist and like sphagnum moss inside this hide here and then there is also the water dish or i could also use a feeding dish and then yeah it's pretty simple and any of you guys who are maybe wondering on what other kind of substrates to use and what kind of enclosures to use it's pretty much up to you guys at the moment my female is in a three foot wooden vivarium with this other kind of substrate it's it's used a lot for corn snakes and other kind of snakes which I'm going to pop up here or if you guys also want you guys can also just use simple like sphagnum moss and the like, coconut fiber mix coconut fiber also keeps up the humidity in the enclosure and so this is just a simple way on how to set up your leopard gecko's enclosure and this is also the best way to do it if you guys are breeding your geckos and you have multiple enclosures and here I'm going to be showing you guys my female. So, 
Here is my gorgeous female leopard gecko and she's smaller than the male so here we're going to be putting her into her new enclosure and see how she likes it. So here she is, my female leopard gecko and I'm just gonna pop her in the enclosure and see if she wants to explore. As you can see my female, she's not that big, she's pretty small and what all leopard geckos, the female gets smaller than the male. And these geckos, they aren't too small as when they get full grown, they're a decent size and they're not too big. So this is also a really good recommendation for any reptile keepers who are getting into the reptile hobby. If you guys are looking for a leopard gecko, this is also a pretty simple way in how to set up your enclosure. And for all these geckos are pretty beautiful. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on watching how to create a simple and cheap enclosure for literally under $20 or 20 euro and it was fun to make those of you guys who are watching this video for the first time and you are here to my channel my name is Joshua and I make content about reptiles and if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to watch my other videos that I have re-uploaded and make sure to subscribe comment down below on what content you guys want to see next I'm really aiming and wanting to see what you guys want to see next so pop that down below in the comments and for any more questions just feel free to ask me on instagram or in the comments down below hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one